Today I want to introduce you to this beautiful Purefix bike. I'm of course very excited about it and want to tell you guys all about it because this is what I do. I really like just showing people simple things that make their life more fun and on an economical budget. It's a simple, simple one-speed bike. I got it last year and I've been just riding it like crazy all around town. The thing about this bike is it's cheap, 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 $2.99. Everything about it is just so cool and it just oozes cool, kind of like me. I bought this at a local dealer in town because I could have ordered it online from the website in California and they'd ship it for free right to your house. But I figured, hey, I'll uh, support the local dealer and go and get one from there. And I went down there. Well, then now I ride and I ride and this thing is silent. It is so silent. Listen to this. No one sees you coming. And so I like come up on people and they'll just be like, whoa, dude, who, where did you come from? How did you do that? And I go, well, I have a silent bike. I don't work or know anybody at Purefix or anything. I do these reviews just because I love something and I go, oh, I got to tell somebody about it. I also want to continue my craft of video production. So I have like this camera and that camera and this camera in the tree and that camera here and it's fun. Check out these, these gold wheels. And if you look closely, there's a gold spoke on each wheel. Why they do that? Just because they could, I guess. It's fun stuff, make it look all artsy and all that. Let me check my cameras one again. See, this is what you gotta do when you're doing video production with a four camera shoot all alone. You gotta keep checking cameras to make sure you're not just sitting there talking to yourself while the camera's not recording. I reversed the bike angle, kind of cool, huh? Give you a look at the other side. It looks just like the other side. It's like just reverse the angle, but. So it comes just with a front brake and you can like reverse the wheel to make it direct drive, which I don't recommend unless you're good at biking. So I keep it in free wheel mode. Just, I can coast along if I want to and not have to worry about the pedals spinning constantly. And I don't even think I'm gonna show you what the direct mode is because it involves me taking the back tire off and switch it around. And then it just think of it's like a gear and a gear and there's no give. So, you know, you get the idea. You can do some research online. I'm not here to tell you about how to do the direct drive thing. I'm just talking about how great of a bike this is. Just basic, basic, easy bike to ride. And it's fast. It goes like, shh. You start pedaling like crazy. And it's like, before you know it, you're doing like, I don't know, like 20 or something, who knows? There's two things I did to it. Well, maybe three things if you include this little handy dandy light. But the three things I did is I put a rear brake on. So, I, you know, in case emergency situation, I don't go flying over the handlebars. And I also did an extender on the handlebars here to get them up a little bit higher. And of course, little handy dandy bike light, which is just my little cool little neat thing that helps me out at night if I ever need it. But most of the time I'd ride without lights just because I want to be like hidden, silent. Remember I was talking about silent and in the dark? That's when people really get freaked out. They're like, why is that guy like biking and he's so silent and there's no lights or anything? And I go, yeah, that's what I do. I'm kind of crazy like that. Kind of crazy. Look at it, it's like a little jumping spider. $2.99, this is what I'm talking about. And I can do that because I don't care about it. Because it was just cheap, cheap, fun bike and it's such good quality and it just goes so well and so neat and ah, it's nice. So let's see, maybe we'll do a little music montage from like the 80s or something of me riding my Pure Fix. You know what this bike is good for? Is just taking a little evening cruise and I'll go like 10 miles or something, just go down the trails and off on side streets. And then my little reward is going to the pub and having a beer. And that's what I mean, folks. It's not about trying to get there the fastest. It's about just going on a nice exercise, fitness run. And this is how I maintain my beautiful physique <laughs> by riding my pure fix. <laughs> hey, I'm 49 years old. Yeah. See what Pure Fix can do for you. Woo! Decided to mix it up a little bit and get an inside shot just to see what it would look like. This is my living room. The only reason I bought a Pure Fix bike versus 
all the other ones is because Peerfix seems like an amazing company online. They have a bunch of videos and a bunch of like how to's and updating your bike. And I just love that when companies just really get it and start giving you that information you need to, to get a cool bike. And so I'm in my little chair and I got my bike here and, and, and I was listening to some albums earlier and it was just so good. And I'm like, this is really neat. I gotta make a video. And I'm seeing all these people like subscribing to me and commenting on my videos. I'm like, I pet a bumblebee this summer. The big issue I have when setting these all up by myself is just getting all the cameras ready. It's so hard. You gotta try to like, you know, you're by yourself, you gotta focus right. And then a lot of times you're not focused right and you gotta make sure your audio is right. And then other times you're not, and it's just blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna pedal my bike for a little bit, just in my living room. Hey, I'm pedaling with my hand. You know, this is actual good exercise too. You know, a lot of people think, you know, biking is, is where your exercise is, but um, check this out. If you just take your bike in your living room like this and you lift it and you can just, you can get a good workout and then you start pedaling and it's like, try to do this and pedal and keep the bike straight. It's like, oh my gosh, this is a great workout. Oh yeah, see this, you don't need weights. This can just be a weight. It's, this is a gym. This is a home gym. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. This is just a home gym. It's not just a bicycle. You can just kind of talk to it. I think that's what I like about this bike. It understands me. It listens to me, I think. And it goes, Ron, I'm gonna get you to that place where you wanna go today. And I just get on it and it takes me. It's like, pedal me, brother, and I'll take you places. I really like the way this bike looks. It's got the flat black and then the little gold cool ribs and the thing is is you can customize this bike too you can get all different colors if you want to you could get like orange handlebars i think or you know different varieties of colors and this stuff is cheap new brake assemblies like 25 dollars someone's calling me and i'm a product specialist here at spectrum i do want to let you know that this car will be mounted at our quarter for quality purposes Ooh. and i see that you have a high speed internet service is that correct yeah Oh, I love telemarketers sometimes. It's exciting. They're fun. I'm going to pretend to take a picture. And then... Oh... It's dark now. I think I'm going to do the rest of this review really relaxed in my easy chair in my yard at night. I hope the neighbors don't mind. I kind of feel like a fool sometimes doing these reviews, especially like this when I'm just in the middle of my neighborhood and talking to a camera. There's probably people peeking out and going, that man is crazy. He's nuts. Ah. You know, when you really think about the wheel and how the bike works and the wheel on the bike goes round and round, and I'm wondering, why do they just, do you think somebody would have came up with a better way other than a wheel? You know, something. I decided to wear black today to blend in with my easy chair and the black bike with the black seat and the black tires. What do you think? So, um, let's see. God, I just cannot think of anything tonight. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I should have ate before I did this. What am I doing out here? It's cold and dark. So that's my review of the Pure Fix bike. I hope you enjoyed it and please just continue watching. I'll try to make more of these, but man, they take a lot of time and I don't have much time because I'm always doing side projects and stuff. I want to share with you a little thing before I go. This was a little truck that I had when I was a little boy and I attempted to give it a cool paint job with spray paint. And I remember doing this. I was probably three, four years old or somewhere around there, but, and I gave it a little paint job with green paint and I still have it. Oh, and look at this. I don't know if you can see that. It says Ron, I etched my name in it. So this is like probably 42 years old or something. Ah, oh, man. Little joys of life of memories, you know? A little truck. Oh, going on. I, I like the front end too. Like, I, I was like 
one little spray, psst, little boy, you know, going, Mom, I decorated it, check it out. And I was kind of thrilled with this. I was going to just get rid of this too. And now I'm like, it's going to be with me forever just because I never realized my name was in the bottom of it. Oh, memories. Yeah, that's a side thing. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go. It's been a pleasure. Today I want to introduce you to this beautiful Purefix bike. I'm of course very excited about it and want to tell you guys all about it because this is what I do. I really like just showing people simple things that make their life more fun and on an economical budget. It's a simple, simple one speed bike. I got it last year and I've been just riding it like crazy all around town. The thing about this bike is it's cheap, 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 $2.99. Everything about it is just so cool and it just oozes cool, kind of like me. I bought this at a local dealer in town because I could have ordered it online from the website in California and they'd ship it for free right to your house. But I figured, hey, I'll uh, support the local dealer and go and get one from there. And I went down there. Well, then now I ride and I ride and this thing is silent. It is so silent. Listen to this. No one sees you coming. 